everyone, welcome back to the Chronic Corner. I'm Lauren, and today we are talking about the difference between tachycardia and bradycardia. Now, more than likely, you've heard the difference between the two if you have some form of dysautonomia or probably even chronic illness as well. And we want to make a quick video to go over the differences since they are so commonly used. So, the first one tachycardia. Um, I'm sure you've heard of this one, especially if you have POTS. But this is basically the medical term for a quick or fast heart rate. So this would categorize anyone with a heart rate of 100 beats per minute or higher with little to no activity. Now, of course, some people, if you're exercising really hard, of course, your heart rate, you know, is going to get higher than that. But from little to no activity, people with dysautonomia and chronic illness, their heart rate can jump that high from doing absolutely nothing. And then the other end is bradycardia. And this is the medical term for a low or slow heart rate. So this would be anything around 60 beats per minute or lower with little to no movement or activity. Both should be taken seriously and checked out by a physician, but they are very common in the chronic illness and dysautonomia community. If you have experience with either of these, we would love to hear about it in the comments below. And for more things dysautonomia, visit dynat.org. Thank you so much for watching.